Today I want to show you a demonstration about torque. Notice I have a rotating platform and if I stop it, notice the rotating platform is that's pretty well level I would say. Okay. Well what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this device here. This device uh, allows us to have a constant force. We push this button, it delays, and for something like four seconds it turn, then it turns itself off. Now the reason I have this out here at the end is because this really does not apply that much force. So I needed it to be as far away as possible and I needed to be able to rotate it. Well let's see what happens if I put it on and it's going to push this way because it's pushing air. So let me get started. Delay. So notice it rotated counterclockwise and by the right hand rule if we follow the force with our fingers that's a positive torque. Now let's stop it and we'll do the same thing only well, this time we'll turn it around. So now here we go it rotates it clockwise which if we use the right hand rule the, the force is turning it clockwise which is a negative torque. But what about if I do this at an angle? So now notice the force is applied that direction. Or if you look from above, it is actually going to turn it clockwise still. Well, here it goes. But you notice that the acceleration is not as great. The, the rotational acceleration, or as we say, angular acceleration, is not as good. Because not all of this force is perpendicular. You would take the sine of this angle and that would be the perpendicular force. But what if I turn it either this way or this way so that none of the force is perpendicular? Sorry. Let's try this. Oh, I got it a little off. So notice it did have a little bit of a vertical component, but very little. Because, well, let me look at it. Yep, I had just a little bit vertical, but here we go. Perfectly horizontal, I think. There you go. No torque because it's actually pushing straight towards the uh, straight towards the pivot. So it doesn't matter if it's any way 